second lab that we're going to be looking at is going to be the effect of the hydro, um, hydrochloric acid concentration on the rate of our reaction. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to look at a video of how much hydrogen gas is produced over a certain period of time to figure out what the rate is as a function of concentration, so the reaction. Two HCLs react with magnesium to make magnesium chloride and hydrogen. Now, hydrogen is a gas, and it is going to come bubbling out here into this little syringe, and we're going to measure a consistent volume. We're going to measure how long it takes to make 15 milliliters of hydrogen gas and see if that time, i.e. the rate, is going to depend on what the concentration is of the HCL. So our concentration is going to vary here as we go through a different set of trials. We're going to take and we're going to record our data. Um, they're going to ask you um, how long it's going to take in order for that 15 mils to be produced. So let's just see how to do this because this takes a little bit of finesse. So I'm going to select 1.4 molar only because you're going to have to do 2.2 for your um, first part of this experiment. Make sure you click on go because if you click on go, it's actually going to do something and it's going to start and it's going to react. So press the play. They're going to put a piece of magnesium into the HCL, and then something is going to start to happen. We, in order to measure the temperature, we have to have our tools out, and our tool here is going to be our stopwatch. So we're going to click on our little tools up there. We're going to bring out our stopwatch, and we're going to take and make sure that we can look at the amount of time it takes, as well as press the play button. And what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how long it takes to make 15 milliliters, starting at a volume of 5 mils and going to a volume of 20. So if we're going to go from 5 to 20, we're going to start with it right here at 5 and then wait until it goes to 20 milliliters. And it's just a choice we're making. In order to control this in sort of a finer manner, this is a um, short step back. Now, sometimes it takes a while for it to seem like it's going to move. It does that. So as you go and you play, what you might have to do is just press this slowly until the hydrogen starts going in and the plunger starts to move. And I'm going to take and keep moving it until it hits five mils. And the five mil mark is about right there. Once it hits five mils, and that's going to be our starting point, hit reset so you're getting it at a time zero. And then you're going to press play. And we're going to stop when it gets to 20. Now, this takes sometimes a bit longer than we'd like, or it's faster than we like. So you're going to have to use a little finesse, and you're going to have to um, kind of ease your way there using the sort of smaller forwards and backwards tools if necessary. So it took 180 seconds for it to make 15 mils of hydrogen gas, again, from 15 to 20. So that is for 1.4 molar. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to actually do the same thing, except you're going to do it at 2.2 molar, hit 2.2, hit go, press play. Once it pops in and something starts happening, you're going to start at 5 mils. Again, use this as a fine point, hit the reset button, hit play again, stop when it gets to the 20 mil mark, answer yourself a few questions, and then go on to part two. Now, part two, we're actually going to do the experiment. And what we're going to do is we're going to vary concentration of the HCL and see what happens to the rate. Now, to me, it makes more sense to go from dilute to concentrated. So I'm going to start out here at the very, very bottom. It also can get, helps me get good at it. I'm going to press the go button. Now, note my tools are gone. I'm going to pause that. So I've got to get my tools out. So pull your tool out, get your stopwatch, move it so you can see everything. All right, so I can see everything here. I'm going to hit play. And when I hit play, I'm going to st start the time at 5 mils. This is dilute, so it's going to take a bit longer. It's right about 5 mils. I'm going to hit the reset. And what, that's going to give me a zero point, and then I'm going to hit play. And I'm going to stop it when the volume has reached 20 milliliters. And because this is dilute, it's going to take a little while. And so when it gets to 20 mils, I'm going to stop it and I'm going to record the volume. Then I'm going to create a graph. So I've got a time of 2070 seconds. And so I'm going to fill in my data. I'm going to start with 0.4 molar. My time is 2070 seconds. 
And then what I'm actually going to graph here is not the molarity and the time, but the rate. And the rate is going to be molarity or milliliters of hydrogen per second. All right. And so milliliters we know is 15. My time is 2070. So I'm just going to take the 15 divided by 2070. That's going to be my rate. And that's going to be 0 0.00725. And that's going to be milliliters hydrogen per second. And then I can go to the second one. And when I'm doing this, I'm going to start creating enough data points to make a graph. So your job is then going to be to graph this. And you're going to need to figure out what to graph, what you're going to have on the horizontal, what you're going to have on the vertical axis. And when you do these, you're going to figure out what the relationship is between the concentration of the HCl and the rate of this reaction. So you're going to make a nice graph. You're going to take and see what happens to the rate as you increase the concentration, and then try to explain what is going to occur on the molecular level. It never does any harm at the end of this to put in a regression. I can't do one because I only have one data point, but as you get more data points, you can take and just click in this button, and it's going to give you a nice fit for this data. So your job, what's going to happen to the rate of this reaction as you increase the concentration of the HCl?